Hey everyone, today I want to share with you just an update on my traveler's notebook. It is still in my planner stack going on for several years now, but I have made some changes to what's inside since my quarter one planner stack video. I'll put a little card up there for you in case you're interested in that. Um, the big thing was I started in January in this cover from the Chic Sparrow. And then I had a little fling with this um, veg tan from Moterm. And I do love the leather of this one, but with the big back pocket, it was just a little bit bulkier than this. I know it's not significant, um, but this, this one just has a slimmer profile. So let's go on into the inside. It's set up pretty functionally. I did remove a lot of my decorative pieces. Um, I actually left all of the vinyl dashboards in this one with the papers in it. I just thought that would also help reduce some bulk if I didn't have all the vinyl in here and then all the extra paper, which it did. This is very narrow and then I only have one in here with a little card from Ellie and Grace. Let me move this out of the way. I do love this size. Um, as you can see, it pretty much holds a letter size, like this is a letter size envelope. So that's handy because I always just shove things in. So all of my inserts, except for this last one, are now just in this linen cardstock from Amazon. It's a kind of a bright white, but it has a texture to it. And I just used those to cover the inserts and um, yeah, make little covers, I guess. So what I wanna show you today is the new social media insert from Crefective Paper. So let me get to that. So again, this is from Crefective Paper. I am on her PR team for the next three months, I think, and then the term will be up. All of my inserts in this notebook are currently from Crefective Paper, except for this lined notes in the back, which is from Traveler's Company. So I have this social media insert, which has several different components to it, and the front half of the book is filled out. So because of how it prints, um, this is also the first page, um, which I think I, I could show you that. So this is just the follower count for YouTube. And I keep track here and then make a little graph. So that's the first component is a followers. And I do this for Instagram as well. I love graphs. Let me see if I can find my current graphing situation. I had this custom insert made again from Perfective Paper to track my energy levels throughout the day. So graphing is just something that I really enjoy doing. Um, so you do get the followers um, graph and then you can just kind of write it down down below. You also get a social media income page. So if you want to, you can graph it. I haven't been doing that. I've just been keeping track of any money that I earn um, either here on YouTube or on Instagram Reels so that at the end of the year for tax time, I have everything down that I need. So that's on the front as well. That'd be the second page of this insert because of how it's printed. And then this has been the big um, component that I've been using. It's just a content list. And I'll zoom in for you so you can see, but you can write whatever content title you want there. Then V for video, check it off when you filmed. P for pictures, D for done. And then I haven't really been using the stars, but I might start to do that. And that's like a 48 hour reaction. So what I've been doing is just like, when I have an idea, 
for something I want to film, like I knew I wanted to share this insert with you, I just write that down. That way I have a place um, just to jot ideas down. So I do have several of those in here. And then the last component that I've been utilizing is this social media calendar. It is a month on one page. I just write in the dates on this little mini calendar up here with my ink pen, which I'm still using the Uniball Signo um, 0.38 pen. And then I have been making little keys over here with my Zig clean color dot markers so that if I have something specifically due for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, I don't do Pinterest or Twitter or TikTok, uh, maybe for the blog, I've been color coding those. And then down here, I just list the title of my YouTube video and I mark with my pen, um, just with a little dot, um, the Mondays, the Thursdays, and the Saturdays, because that's when I post. And then when I have a video um, filmed, edited, uploaded, and scheduled, I just write down where it's at on the schedule for the month, if that makes sense. Okay, so that is the social media insert from Crefective Paper. And then the other thing I wanted to show you from Crefective Paper was that um, she is just so great, Jade, at custom inserts. So I literally said, I love your graph on your daily page, which looks like this. I was making it into a graph. Could you do that so that I could see a whole month at a time on this two page spread? And it's just such a smooth process. So I guess what I'm trying to say is if you have an insert in your mind that you can't seem to find anywhere else, either for traveler's notebooks, discs, or rings, um, shoot Jade a message because um, she's very quick and it's reasonably priced and she just nails it every single time. So I was very pleased with that. And then the last thing that I'll share with you, this is going to be a quick video, it's just a quick little update, is this insert. Um, it's actually made for A5 rings, so you would punch it right here. Um, it is just a little half sheet, so usually for rings, you know, this would be cut. I just ask her to put lines on the back so that when I folded it over, I could wrap it around my inserts. So what I've been doing is just moving it throughout my daily pages. So let me find, yeah, that's the day. And then I just slip it in. And pull it through. It doesn't even have to go all the way through. You know, you could just do one page just to hold it in there. So it has the mini calendar up here and I really wanted just um, something that I could see quickly when I have this open to my daily insert. This insert, again, from Perfective Paper is what is always open on my desk at work. So um, I didn't wanna have to keep flipping back and forth. I wanted to be able to quickly see um, my month at a glance. This color coding matches everything on my calendars up front. So I know what those mean um, just by looking quickly. And then um, I've, been, I've been wanting a place to like categorize my days is the problem. So I kind of did that over here on my daily with sorority stuff, um, Planner Kate stuff, church stuff, work stuff, home stuff, content. Um, but I've just been having a long, long list of things that I'm waiting on. So that's what I've been keeping on here. This is the other half of this little halvesy insert, if I can find it. It's the other half of this. So I just flip back like, so for sorority, this is all the stuff I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on the building to approve our blood drive. 
I'm waiting on work schedules for celebration. I have to remember to postmark the PCR by May 9th. I'm waiting for Rita to get back to me on the tree approval. So it's just a lot. Um, and I don't want to put it on a daily page and then flip the page and forget about it, right? So by the time I got, let's just say I put it on the 11th when it happened and I knew I needed to contact Rita and it didn't happen, like she didn't get back to me, I'm not gonna remember on the 19th. That's just how my brain is. So I wanted a place where I could just keep moving it forward um, intentionally throughout the day. So tomorrow is Thursday, the 20th, and obviously it's still good here. And then when I turn the page, I will go ahead and move this again so that it's on this page between the 21st and the 22nd, if that makes sense. So that is just a little update with where I'm at. I wanted to share those social media inserts because I love them so much. And then this is kind of new, so we'll see how that goes. It's only been a couple days since I put that in there. And um, I guess I'll mention too that my weekly has not changed. I actually did all of quarter one, January, February, and March, and it's right here handy on my desk in case I need to reference that for any reason. Um, but I'm going strong with this particular insert and the layout is just really helpful and is working well for me. So that's my tr quick traveler's notebook update for you guys. If you have questions about Curfective Paper, let me know. I will have a coupon code for just a little bit in the description below, but if you're watching this after, like, I would say after July of 2023, the code might not be active anymore because she does cycle through her PR team. So for right now, there is a code if you're interested. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you back on my next video.